Hey there, I'm Yi Ting, I use they them pronouns, and I'm the founder of MicroStory SG. We started in 2018, and since then, about 100 people have written in to submit their stories of discrimination. So quite a number of our submitters are secondary school students, and the experiences that they face can range from the misinformation from sex education, all the way to bullying, even from their own teachers. These stories have been lived right here in Singapore. These are our stories. I'm a 15-year-old bisexual trans male, and gender dysphoria affects me greatly. I've never felt right in my body, no matter how hard I tried being self-confident and open. One night, I decided to cut off my hair. My mother was, and still is, homophobic and transphobic. She started digging through my social media where I had been calling myself male. Several times, I've wanted to end my life because I could never see myself living comfortably in my own body with a mother that loved me for who I am. But I always try to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I tell myself that I'll endure, as hard as that may be, until I reach adulthood. I always thought teachers were supposed to help you when you were in trouble, but mine did not. It was during the science class when one of my classmates suddenly shouted, saying I was gay. The teacher stopped and asked if I actually was gay, to which I did not answer. The teacher then asked the person sitting next to me whether he was afraid of sitting beside me. The latter asked why he should be. He said that I was his friend, and there was no reason to be afraid of me. I hope that everyone can learn to love each other despite their differences, instead of making them feel like they don't matter. I first discovered I was queer when I was in ballet since I was 11 years old. I was fascinated by the athletic moves in male dancers and a grace and softness in female dancers. That's when I knew I've always wanted to dance and dress like both of them at the same time. The past 11 years have been a challenge to learn to be myself but with increasing awareness on non-binary people, hopefully, no one like me would have to think that they're abnormal for not fitting into the gender binary. 